Seigneur. I'm actually just finishing my last stretch here before changing the webcam. Dude, it's fucked up how it's like. Probably five degrees or more warmer in this room, despite the window of this room being open and fans trying to like, you know, move things around and get air out and stuff. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. I do have my apple though. So that's good. That part is good. Catching up on the track and the field. Nice. Definitely some exciting relays took place. guy knows his boats. <laughs> Shout out to Cole her Hawker, by the way. That's right. That's right. Hmm. The goat, the legend, the champ, the best. Yeah. Uh. the hell is with these last two? I mean, these are animals. Is this the thing where it's like, hair could also be hair. Muscle could also be your muscles. Eye could be your eye. And then navel could be your navel? Oh, he just nails it. He nails it. Oncoming... I don't know what this is. I was gonna say on concerning traffic or something, but then I was like, wait, no. Mm. On the topic of this, concerning about this. Connections trying to do their best Elon Musk. Mm. Concerning exclamation point. Nice one. Oh, oh, 
Okay, we don't have that. I mean, I'm, that's not what I was trying to type. That's what I was trying to type. But I'm pretty sure those are completely different. I was actually trying to type Pecora for this guy. I mean, let's just get sheep out of the way. Make sure we're not bovines. Huh. So there's some other guy. Buffalo. Bison, yeah. Hmm. That's a water buffalo right there, right? No, it's a wildebeest. I mean, it's it can it definitely isn't because that's over here, but. Bison is also over here. It has to be a deer or true deer, but yet not... Hmm. Okay, we need an old world deer. That must be what this is. An old world deer? I didn't even know there was one of those. Mmm, elk is probably right. Yeah. I couldn't, I, because when I was thinking elk, I kept thinking caribou. As soon as you said it, though, I knew that that was it. Because I was like, oh, yep, that's it. That's the old world one. Thank you for picking it from my brain. Yeah, that was it. Also, hi, Artie. Um, what are we doing next? Oh yeah, this, an image one, uh oh, and it's eight minutes, uh oh, oh boy. <laughs> um. I was... The images are so small. No, I mean, not really. Like, I can do, like, a zoom or two at most, but, like, not really, because then the images move, and, like, look, this is one of those you zoom in, it zooms in less. I guess I could, like, uh, do this. But now you don't have no part of the bottoms cut off. And I'm gonna have to like redo this later and it's all screwed. I was thinking bands, like group bands. But then some of these must not be and like must be like TV or whatever. Like this is a movie. Permanent resident card. I don't know what that's from. This is blue cheese. Right? Is that what this is? That's the green mile. This is the Red Sea, isn't it? What's something else that's a color here? Red panda? Wait, so maybe it's a bunch of things that are red, bunch of things that are green, bunch of things that are blue. But isn't that's like that's not a blue whale, that's a humpback whale, isn't it? I'm like 90% sure that is not a blue whale. Blue steel. 
Black hole. I don't recognize any of these, like, images really here. Wait, is that, uh... That's Red Hot Chili Peppers, I think, in the middle, actually. But I don't really... This one, I feel like, it looks familiar, but I can't really place it. Wait, is this, uh, this is the, the, like, AI in chess, blue, whatever, right? So we need one more blue? Uh... Let's just keep guessing with these four plus things that it might be. Okay. So, yeah, I... I'm pretty sure that's not a blue whale, <laughs> but I clicked I clicked one that was four people for blue man group. Okay, so red panda. The red sea, red hot chili peppers, red bull. And then we just got to get like red ants or something. I'm kind of shocked it's not red ants. Okay, no idea what this is, but sure. Okay, so now, definitely black hole. Green tea? Is that, I know this is a green turtle. Green mile, you said? For some reason, I keep- I don't actually know what this is, but I feel like it's green for some reason. That's not green tea? Yeah, but that's not a blue whale either, so... What other color would be with this? It's either, like, black coffee or green tea, right? So, n neither of those look like what those are. <laughs> we know one color has to be black because of the black hole, and then one has to be green because of this. And this. But we don't know what the third color is yet. I know it's not either of them. You are you listening to the words that I'm saying out loud? Hello? Does anyone recognize any of these groups of people? <laughs> that would really help. This one I feel like I should know something. Oh no, this is Yellow Submarine! Okay, Yellow Submarine, the Yellow Sea, I think is a thing. Is yellow tea a thing? Black Panther, bottom left. Yellow tea, is that a thing? Or are you just saying, oh yeah, that must be it. <laughs> okay, the other thing would be maybe like this, this. All right, Black, Black Panther. We're close. Yellow and? Again, that doesn't sound- I don't feel like that's a confident you saying that. Black Adder. By the way, t guys, top three left. Okay. The hell is Permanent Resident Card? That must be like a famous movie thing or something that we should know what movie that's from? Wait, the Black Sea. Black Sea is not where Korea is. True. That is Korea, isn't it? What is that then? Is that the Yellow Sea? Or oh, the Green Sea? Okay, we actually only have three guesses now. So we know it's green and yellow. Because this has to be the Yellow Submarine. Otherwise, what else would this be? Is like a girl group? We have a minute. Okay, what's more likely to be the real answer? Green tea or yellow tea? I'm pretty sure green tea is more likely to be the answer. Green mile. Green card. I 
I don't think that's Green Day. We can try it, and it was wrong. Okay, it must be the middle then. We got there. That was a team effort. Alright, now I need to go here for a second so I can fix the browser thing, because it's all wrong now. It's all wrong now. It's like pretty much fixed. Pretty much. Okay. This was blue. It's just that's not a blue whale. <laughs> I'm like pretty sure that's a humpback whale. But whatever. Okay. Red panda. Red dwarf. Never heard of that. Black Adder, Black Hole, Black Mamba, Black Panther, Black Sabbath. This is green. Remember? Dude, that's not green tea. Yeah, well, we already knew their pictures were dumb anyway. <laughs> we knew their pictures were kind of wrong anyway. And then yellow. I guess yellow ant was real. Yellow jackets? Yellow crazy ant. Yellow car. Because it looks nothing like green tea? I know, but you have to use the clues within the context of what you have, which is that you know their pictures are wrong. So it either had to be, like, black coffee, or green tea. <laughs> ah, crap, I moved the thing by accident. I would ask that you refer for, re refrain from using that phrase, though, or that verbiage. Ugh. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No uh, evolution. You have to do one of the... Um... The legendaries. I was actually trying to remember the name of the... Like, box legendaries. Because I think they technically count. Yeah. Rock Paradox. Ah... <laughs> Hmm, that is tough. Uh, Paradox Rock, huh? Ah. Like, I don't think any of these are rock. And then the other ones we know about are like Screaming Tail, Roaring Moon, Yelling, whatever, Screaming, uh, Roar. What the fuck is the... The legendary beast. The Raikou and Suicune ones. What are those called again? Like, burn. Not iron bundle. Brute bonnet, that's another one, but that's not wrong. But I don't think any of the legendary beasts are anyway. I don't know about that. Steel? We should be able to get this one. <laughs> we should be able to get this one. Uh, 
Wow, that's like, it has to be one of the only ones that that doesn't do. That, I'm actually just annoyed at you now. Um, okay, that was absurd. Um... Flying the Evolution, obviously legendaries. But is there a good a non-legendary? Yes, there is, and it's gonna be a very popular choice. No Evolution Fairy. I'm just gonna do Tapu Lele. Rock... Rock Fairy? That exists? I have no idea what that is. Steel Fairy? Magirna? Maybe? I don't know which one of these. Okay. Steel Flying... I feel like there's an obvious one and I'm not thinking of it. Steel Flying, huh? I can't believe the Iron Leech one wasn't correct. It's crazy. Um... Oh, Skarmory, of course. Alright, then Rock Flying. Let's give a classic Aerodactyl. Let's not even think about it. Rock Fairy. This one we can get with a different Iron Guess, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But I'm, we got it wrong. I have, I'm really... Iron, I mean, Rock Fairy, is a, that's a crazy... That's a crazy combo. I'm guessing it, I don't know that one. But Rock Paradox, I also kind of don't know, unless I just guess that it's one of these iron ones. Which, like, you could definitely guess it with this. It's probably one of the best choices. Or Iron Boulder. Okay. And then I'm gonna give up on Rock Fairy. I don't think I can... Unless it's like the Aurorus one, unless it's like, unless it's this guy. How the heck is there still fairy? This is Cuphead music. Sorry, I didn't respond. I was too thinking too much. So I'm going to skip this one because I feel like I could basically choose. I know I said this the first time, but. I'm like 99% sure Iron Hands is Iron, I mean Steel, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to guess in here, because I know this is in XY Generation, and I know, but no, because it's Ice. Isn't it like Ice Rock? Because the whole episode, they're, they're like an Ice type. But in my brain, I'm always like, oh, all fossils have to be rock type until, like, Gen uh, Sword and Shield. But I also have no other possible guess for Fairy Rock. Fairy Rock. What the hell would be Fairy Rock? <laughs> what the hell would be Fairy Rock? Um... Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I'm trying to think of episodes, I'm trying to think of, you know... Like, definitely not, like, a Slurpuff mother... guy, and definitely not a Spritzy type. Although Spritzy might... I don't even think that was that generation anyway, right? Maybe I might be blanket, but either way. I don't like this guess, but again, yeah. Carbink is fairy? Oh, I definitely should have been able to think of Diancie, I guess. Maybe I should have thought of Legends. I could have got there. I obviously know. I wouldn't have actually guessed the Carbink is, but I know that Diancie is. So it was a bit of a blunder. Was I right? Oh, wow, I would have been wrong on that. This is fucked up. You're telling me all of these things are named iron and only two of them are actually steel? The hell? I would have been right on either of these. Oh, is it like all of the Paradox ones have no evolution lines pretty much? That 
that's an odd choice. Hey, I did guess one of the least chosen. And I did guess one of the least chosen for this. Oh, Mawile. I always forget, because there's definitely times where it's... Things that got their, their types updated are definitely a lot harder for me, because I just think of them as their original. Like Mawile just being Steel, not Steel Fairy. This one hurt. I should have thought about Legendaries more. I always forget about Diancy, though, just because it's... Uh, I don't know, man. It's just, just not, not what I think of. Fairy, no evolution. Tapu Finny's way higher than the other Tapus. Damn it. Whatever. And then Oracorio, fly, no evolution. Yeah, I told you this would be number one. A Sigilyph, Aerodactyl. Wait, no evolution line? Huh? That's just wrong. <laughs> Doesn't this thing evolve? Is it squawk ability? Whatever, I don't I don't know why it's reporting things as it is. Uh, Flying Steel? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Celestiala? And Corviknight? Yeah. I knew about that one. Alright, well, uh, we, we did it. We did do it. So there is that, at least. Oops. Typed in the wrong thing. So... You know, we have a bit of time here until Super Auto Pets. We could do some Chimera Puzzle Island. We could also potentially go into Contexto, and that's how you know it's definitely not set correctly, the uh, browser thing. Man, this thing is hard to get right. Maybe I just do it like this. And then this. Let's do crack. Why is that still hot? That's still not right. I was using a random YouTube video as my way to figure out the right, like, setting. Huh. Odd. Is it usually cut off like that? I don't know, I made it a little bit more lined up. As in drugs, you said it. Uh, do we want to do this or no? I'm fine with not doing it, but I'm also fine with doing it. What I will tell you is that I'm going to go pee. First.
god, it's so gross in this room. <laughs> Why does this room have to just be like this? Okay, red. Good start. So... I usually start with colors. Cloud. What? Uh, computer. Server. Internet. Okay. Not related to that. Cloud. Earth. Space. Air. I already guessed rain. Persip. No, there wouldn't be that. I don't think they do long words like that. If it was stratosphere, space would be way closer. Closer. Cloud. Well, white being closer to cloud makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't really make sense to guess the other things after rain wasn't there. Tornado? Again, storm would be closer. It, it must not be related to storm. Snow? Hmm. Rain's closer than snow. Weather? What? <laughs> that would have been so good. That would have been so good. Uh, day. Night. Dream. Dream. Day dream. There. Okay. <laughs> Fluff. It's an interesting choice. Gaze. Gas. Oxy oxygen. Plane. Maybe this. Uh, no, but then sky would be higher. I was kind of trying to guess opposite thing because sometimes you get like a really offset clue that does not help you even though it's high up but and it is kind of related but in like a weird way i mean all these colors being high up is pretty interesting i mean even paint is pretty high up Interesting that create is that high. I did not try a collage, I tried college. Hmm. I didn't type straight up color, so you are right with that. Oil, oil painting. But then paint and stuff would be closer, right? Hmm. Crayon? It's another medium. Doesn't make sense. Digital? Create? Produce? Uh... Invent Pastel Frost I don't- th I think it's less related to cloud and more related to like Well, I mean it could but it seems we guessed a lot of things around like actual clouds in the sky storm sky rain This and that not really near there only thing that's kind of near there is mist so I think maybe 
something other than that. I was typing those to be like, what's other, what other words do people use cloud for? Oh, my mind is clouded. Uh, the outcome is cloudy. You know, that type of thing. Create. Can we get some create synonyms? Already did invent. Make. Yeah. I did... Produce, but that was a little different. Inspire. I already did dream, right? Yeah. Picnic? No. I see where you were going, though, like a picturesque thing. Beer? Maybe he's talking about, like, the foam being cloudy or whatever. Yeah, foam. I see where you were going with that. That's why we already do cream, right? Shave. Shaving cream, shaving foam. Soap. Ocean. Water. River. Tide. Pool. Hot tub? Yeah. Tub. Okay, foam and water, huh? Moisturizing. It's definitely not gonna be that, but... Foam, water, liquid? Yeah. Cream is like way, way lower than these, so I don't think it's about like applying something to yourself. Clean? Bubble. There it is. Nice. Stung Tongue got it. I feel a little bad. I feel like I was on the way there, but they're hot tonight. They got that one and they got, uh. What was that other thing you did? You got something earlier, too. Oh, yeah, elk. Yeah, 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 elk. That was a nice, nice grab as well. That was a nice grab as well. I'm clearing out notes from sap stuff last time. Just ahead of time here. That one was fun. Yeah, that one was pretty good. They call you the elk bubbler. I don't, I don't really like this one that much. I don't know, it's hit or miss, but I guess we're doing this stuff today anyway, so. This is obviously really old. A lot of people. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking six or seven. really have any basis for that just besides that it looks old more recent why because the hairstyle or it's just the car how the truck looks it's a big truck 30s it's just a shitty picture teamwork because I did choose 31 <laughs> Most credit to you, but yeah. Was it the car that made you think that? Because that's the only thing that was for me thinking that that's too modern looking to be that early. Yeah, car the outfits. The only thing about the outfits in particular that I was thinking about was the, the hats, I guess, in a sense. But yeah. There was a reason I was hesitant at first, because it didn't feel quite right. I feel like this could be one of those famous pictures where it's like two important people and it was like, this guy was murdered, in the, or it's like, President blah 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 and blah 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 blah, and uh, 
before there. Code for order coming to finish in the mid 20s, please. They got some fucking cigars here, huh? I mean, it's either like again in the in the 30 type range, or it's in, like in the 50s. <laughs> I feel like it's one or the other, right? So then they all looked poor as well. They did. That's fair. That is fair. You think this is an umbrella or a cane? I'm thinking a cane. You think this is late 20s? Before the depression? Close. Manchester Cathedral. When was the Manchester Cathedral created or uh, built? Oh, that doesn't help. <laughs> 1421. All right, all right. We're probably not, probably not getting there. Hey, you never know. It's worth a shot. It was actually, I was mostly, I mean, I was mostly doing it for the meme of like, just typing in because it's the only thing that gives us a hint. But I didn't even look at any of the picture. Okay, relax. Yeah, there's people on horses and shit. So this is pretty old. Meow. Oops, I don't know what I just hit. The support chrome button, apparently. 1903. It's crazy. Like, if you took the horses out of this picture and, like, couldn't really see what people were wearing, it looked pretty much, like, more modern than the first picture that was in the 30s. Because <laughs> it, it was the Great Depression and everything. Anyway, next one. I'm gonna be honest, I just like this picture. This is just a cool picture. Look at that view. Look at that view. No idea where it is, but that is a nice view, huh? What's cool is you can see, you see like the um, kind of swirls from the image processing that took place when they made the image. It's pretty cool as well. Anyway, this car, this car's got me thinking somewhere in here. What'd you guys think? The pre-50 photos are deceptive because of much slower text fashion progressed. True. Probably a Buick somewhere in the Midwest. Oh, well, I... I wasn't looking when I was moving the cursor back and forth, so whatever, we'll do this. Zoom in on the outfits. Dude, that guy got a gun? I mean, I was basically going to choose somewhere around here. Not bad. Typewriters, right? Typewriters? So... Wow, this thing's dusty looking. What the heck? Or maybe that's just like a weird... Something or other. What is this, a microphone? What are, what's going on here? I want to know what's going on more than I want to actually, like, <laughs> guess the, the date. Um, so... Hmm... This one's gotta be, like...
You said 41? I was thinking late 40s. Or... You were thinking early 40? I was thinking late 40. Oh, for the last one. The one that was 51? I don't know. I don't know when fucking typewriters stopped being used, man. Sometime in the 30s? It does kind of make more sense. When I think about it in the context of World War II being a thing and a lot of technology afterwards, it's, it's probably not this, huh? Having lines of people doing typewriters. Dude! Your 41 was right, but you weren't even guessing for this one! <laughs> you weren't even guessing for this one! I mean, my guess still would have been... I guess my guess would have been almost just as far away. Would have been like here. It would have been a little bit further away. So we got a we got a perfect score on that, which is pretty sweet. I'm really bad at this game though. I feel like I'm not good at all. Anything like pre 45. <laughs> I feel like I'm always just like it's just always based off of the pictured looking however it looks and I get baited like crazy. Zoom in on the car. There you go. I was looking at something on my phone. I don't know what that says. I don't know, you tell me. Maybe. To me, it's, it's too blurry to actually tell what that is. I mean, I could see why you might guess that that's what it says, but I also feel like it would be weird. Like, this part looks a little bit weird, because, like, four, it's four letters, so to have a letter right over the middle would be pretty awkward, wouldn't it? You wouldn't really want to, like, F-O-R-D, and then, like, have, you know what I mean? You're saying this is Ford? Or are you saying that, that is? Because that does not look like Ford. So you mean the... Whatchamacallit. I'm blanking on what the, the word for this is, but I know what this is. Either way. Whatever! Excuse me. Looking, looking. I'm not doing Google Foo for Ford card things. I'm just, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm setting up with something else. I know you mean, I mean, I guess I didn't know if you meant not me, but I was kind of also just saying it to say it in case Artie was gonna think that I was going to. I don't feel like, I don't care about this argument about the car things. I'm not invested in that. Now, what we could be invested in is... Man, I so regret redoing the browser thing for Picros, and that was all messed up. I can't get it back to what it used to be for some reason.
Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I even do this? Alright, hold on. What do we have? Alright, so we got no rocks. Can Does this work? I think this works. What's their rating? 1609? Oh, gee, jish. I, I actually, does it, can I look, does it, okay, well, well. It does work, okay. Unfortunately, I mean, I can attempt to set up, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's bad news. <laughs> yeah. Zatu might have been able to live that. Well, I regret everything I've done already. That's good. That's good. What up, Anger? Just uh, killing a, a little bit of time here, 10 minutes before Super Auto Pits. I already made a huge mistake in uh, this, so it's not great. Wow, that did not kill, huh? That's crazy! <sighs> cool. Cool. gonna have the cuts that berry thing anyway actually no if we aqua with jet it beats the cuts that berry right dude I cannot believe the counter killed the star raptor as well that's craziness killing the Raichu made sense but We got min maxed! It did 14%, then it did 2%, 12%. This game's over, man. Jesus Christ. The game is fucking over. Pullman Max, man. Pokemon VGM? No, not going to. We're only doing this for like five minutes anyway. No, I'm probably just gonna kill us here. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, that's a little bit annoying. It's not worth the time. Oh, brutal. Now I do this in case they go to a flyer. We need this to at least kill one more thing, but it's probably not because it's slow. It's just going to die to something with decent special attack. Yeah, or that. I don't think we can really afford to just... 
do anything really. We're just we're just dead. This can't have earthquake. I don't know what it's running now. We can't win from here. There's, there's actually not a point in playing again. Okay, they did Earthquake. They might switch now. If they do, we basically need for alligator to get burned, so that's why I'm doing it. Because I think... Yes, if they earthquake and we went to... What's his name? That's good and all, but... Burn, 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 burn. We lose. Alright, well, that's why we don't fucking play this game anymore. Do I have a GameCube? I do. I do have a GameCube. Throw into bad luck. Obviously the throw matters more, but... I mean, considering how much it did after the fact, I don't even know if the throw mattered at all, because while the Fed is just insane... Yeah, it is nice. I have one GameCube. But I have multiple N64s. Though I think I only have... I might only have one N64 here. And then one at my parents. Five minutes? I guess we're doing one more and I'm just gonna probably throw again because I'm already tilted. This has Ice Beam, we cannot stay in. But because Pokemon is dumb and water types all get Ice Beam, you can't actually go to something that is good against it in the sense of uh, a grass type. It also could have Earthquake, which is good against this, and you know, everything else. There's the Ice Beam. Here comes the Earthquake. What's their ranking? 13. There's the Earthquake. Just that. Alright, we could do this though. Just sleep powder and hope. Certainly got a I don't know if I would say, like, lucky-lucky, but definitely some amount of luck that Gengar lived there. Hm. Um... Oh, of course. I was so close to switching out. Brutal. Um... And this doesn't have flamethrower like it sometimes does. And this doesn't have... Alright. 
We can roar out this one after it sets up at least. Toxic. That's pretty brutal. Not used to that move set on Vespaquin. That's for sure. This match is not going to take too long, and we're going to get to Sap too later than we would like. They roosted. That is an interesting choice. That is an interesting choice. Why did you do that? Okay. Who are they going to now? The nurse on Friday had a tattoo on her arm that read, For you, I will goon. For you or for, uh, yo? Either way, insane. It's an insane <laughs> thing. Definitely an insane thing. Yeah, thought that could happen. Just have to let this go. There weren't any there weren't any spaces. It was go on. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a uh, you know, that's a kind of crazy. find out if this is a resting spirit tomb or not. We'll find out soon. I'm kind of assuming it is because of... Now we kind of need to switch to something that isn't actually going to die because it's pretty clear that they're going to... Uh... The problem is actually going to be this Sharpedo. It would be nice to go Rayquaza, but I think we have to do it like this. And then we just have to basically Earthquake. Okay, that helps. Oh, it was very crammed in, so it looked like Goon. Okay, that's pretty funny. I think I just Earthquake again. I mean, it's either that or you, like, try to go to Gengar or something. This is pretty good on the Uxie. That's about it. The Sharpedo being so fast is a problem. But I feel like I also don't want to let this thing set up. Which it's probably going to. Okay, it did not. So that's good. If I Earthquake, it might uh, switch to one of these flyers, so I think I'm actually gonna do this. Wait. It resists that. Do this. Even better. <laughs> Even better? Okay, unneeded crit. All right, now, pretty much regardless what they do, I leave this in. Well, yeah. The question would be the Sucker Punch or not, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's go. The gamble. The gamble paid off. Okay, we have a chance. I think... I think Wigglytuff makes a lot of sense, in fact. Even if you roost, do I really care? 
Because you died a toxic? You, you turn out? Attracted? <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I think I'm trying to size toss kill this guy before he kills me. Hell yeah. Hell the fuck yeah. Then, if he goes back to Sharpedo, we protect first. Because we know he's choice, so then we'll be able to understand what he's gonna do. Hydro Pump. Okay. Hydro Pump, huh? I know somebody that resists that. Gengar does outspeed. You do not, so I think I'll just do this. Take a free hit. Okay. Then we go... Gengar... Sludge Bomb? Probably. Well, or Focus Blast to kill it, potentially. Sure. If he brings this in, we die Life Orb. We do this, we'll get an extra turn. He might crunch. He actually could win this, he's gonna Ice Beam. So what we need to do is... Live, wish, wish stall up our health, and then toxic it, and then go from there. And he's basically hoping for a um, a crit. Looks like we're gonna win this one though. He's also not that far off of running out of Ice Beams, which is cool. They are hoping for the crit, which I guess I can respect. Just because... Yeah, right, they, 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 I don't blame them. I think they were, were dying in the next two. Okay, we, got, we went one and one. We got on the board, thank goodness. Time to open Super Auto Pets. Incoming webcam freeze. I might have already done it, actually. I, I forget. What, do I, am I, like, here in Super Auto Pets? This is the same weekly. I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess it wasn't a bad thing that we took a little bit of extra time then, huh? That's crazy that the tattoo looked like gooning, though. That's pretty fucking funny. Had a tattoo on her arm that read, For you, I will go on. I mean, goon. I mean, go on. I mean... I mean, I mean, I mean... Well, okay. Apparently this guy can see the new weekly. So maybe that just means that it's uh, not updated on the preview. There you go. <laughs> there you go, now you can kind of see it. All right, well, let's write our notes then. Melon armor, garlic, uh, pineapple. Not much like stat food. Tier four stuff is trash for food wise. Snipers? Uh, Jackalope, I think? Glowfish? That green cricket looking thing? Uh, Rhino, I guess. Uh, Snake? I think those are it. Oh, great song, by the way. Okay, scaling, there's actually a lot. Orangutan, unless Orangutan changed. Tropfish? Giraffe? Orangutan? Question mark? Um, secretary bird, kinda, but no, not this week. 
Today. Dragonfly, shoe bill, but there's no strawberries anywhere, so it's trash. Actually, maybe the pheasant kind of does, but uh, polar bear I believe is in there, and then sauropod kind of. I don't remember what the cockatrice looking thing does. And I also don't know what this thing is. Is that a is this a lioness? What is this? All right, let's get into the game ourselves and maybe see. Here, where are we? Let me actually let me do it one one last let me restart the game one last time. See if it'll update the preview. There's nothing for me to do. Nope. Never mind. Thought I heard a thing. Hmm. It is updated now. Okay, what is this? Uh, tiger bug? That's a crazy name. Tiger bug. Okay, but yeah, that does that does do some sniping. Jackalope. Oh, jackalope is scaling. Okay. Run away, run away. Uh. Okay. Interesting. They moved this to tier 3, but it still does this. My bad. Interesting. Tier 3, but it's, it still does some stats. And what are you? Fossa? Move 2 health from the first enemy for each roll this turn. That is a weird one. Can you feel it? I guess Koala technically counts as scaling, but not really this week. Now, what is this one? Enemy hurt or pushed? I don't think there's any pushing going on. But okay. Oh, well, well, elephant, camel, this is like cute, but the stats. I don't know if those stats stay. I don't... But, okay, elephant, uh, camel, koala combo. Giraffe elephant? Giraffe elephant is not a combo. <laughs> That's not a combo. <laughs> what does this one do again? Friend summoned, give it strawberry until next turn. Start of turn. I don't think that works. I don't think that works. I do not believe that Pheasant Shubo works. Combo in Africa, though? <laughs> Look, you're not wrong, but... No way. Okay, so... Uh, spawn team-wise, you have Stork. Oh, there's Yak Koala. What am I talking about? Yak Koala combo. Solo scaling, yak. Stork? What else spawns? What the hell is this thing? End turn. Give one attack and spook until next turn to the nearest friend ahead. I mean, I guess that's technically scaling. Although... It's only until the end of turn, the, until the end of the next, so it's not really, it's like temporary. Shop tier upgraded. Alright, Gibbon is technically, I guess. I don't know why we're even writing it down, I never even reference it anymore. Um, okay. So, Alright, back to the spawn listings. Uh, the slime, the osprey, the deer, the slug, secretary bird, uh, Beluga, Tapir, Bear, Snake. Alright, that's the spawn team stuff. Scaling, general stuff. Seems okay. We're gonna skip this one. This one being the song. Well, we're switching to the, the where we left off. There's two playlists that are the same playlist, but they're at different points. There's the one that's the YouTube video Super Auto Pets ones. And then I always 
end that one and start that one when doing super auto pets and then there's the general stream one they're using the same playlist but they're not at the same points because in my brain in, in my psycho brain scenario where i was somehow listening to the normal playlist and then by the ne t time that the next super auto pets thing happened that we somehow looped around to the same spot in the stream playlist so then it sounds like i'm listening to the same song twice in a row just psychotic level overthinking anyway um what else is going on here i feel like i covered most things we're we're fine we're fine get, get, okay let's 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 get it started shall we Where's the word with uh, let's get let's get things started here It's a new week it's 8 14 a little bit late We got distracted with something and then blah blah blah, okay There's a bunch of stuff I think mainly there's a uh, a spawn team to potentially be working with spawn team related things rather and then I'm not opposed to this and then just saving the money if I'm gonna be honest with you I did that in the wrong order I wanted to anyway I wanted to buy the I wanted the strawberry to go on the ant but I messed it up okay no comment um there's a couple of early combination synergies that I think you're going to see a lot, which involves... That's not great math there. Which involves... Yak, Koala, Elephant, Camel, or Elephant, Camel, Koala. I think both of those you're going to see a bunch of. This thing is weird. I feel like it's not that good, but it's not that bad, I guess. But I'm taking this. And then I'm rolling. Double ants is pretty good. Kinda hard to just ignore the double mosquito, though. I know it makes that we don't get the ant trigger, but it does make it so that we, uh... Have decent chances of levels. Now, I don't remember- do I usually- I don't remember- I feel like- my webcam is sometimes higher than this, sometimes lower than this. I don't really remember, if I'm honest with you. How how we lost again? We double lost? It's the worst. We, we got beat by ball underscore SAC sack. I guess that we had it coming. I don't know. Speaking of strawberries... There is shoe bills, but I'm 99% sure that this plus shoe bill doesn't work because this is the start of the turn and then this would be gone by the time it gets to the turn, so I'm, I'm pretty dang sure that doesn't work. But yeah, there's a bunch of bunch of scale, uh, a bunch of spawning stuff. Deer, slug, stork, slime, osprey, the things I just said, secretary bird, beluga, tapir, bear, etc. So there's definitely some good that. But there is also some good armor, garlic and melon, and chili peppers, sort of good against spawn teams too. <sighs> kind of trying to... Part of me wants to do this, but part of me just wants to try to get a level. Redeemed. Obviously it's not as great right now, but it does give us the chance to... Do I want to save the money or do I want the strawberry? That is the question. I guess I want the strawberry. Kind of awkward because this like is anti of anyway. It, it doesn't really make sense. That's okay. This is kind of cool. I don't know if the stats stay permanently here if you did it with the um. There's, that was the other combo, not the hurt trigger combo, but the synergy of jumping with this and the uh, the bug, which is kind of neat. I kind of want to try that. I'm not gonna go pheasant. 
But yeah, I think uh, those few synergies you're going to see a bunch. There's a decent amount of scaling, I would say, this week, especially early. Um, stuff like Giraffe. Uh, Orangutan is now Tier 3, which is different than before. But it gives slightly less health, I guess. But still, that's a decent amount. And then... I'm kind of done with you. Kind of want to save the level for next turn, but I kind of don't want to lose. More health is, is good. Maybe time to abandon you, or abandon one of these. You know, abandoning this is maybe not as good because then we don't have chances of levels next turn, but on the other hand, it is just... It's just kind of a, a guy that's existing. And this doesn't actually do anything right now. But I kind of just want to do it. I think we can't be that greedy. I don't think we can be that greedy. Osprey is probably better in the immediate. And then we almost get the thing. Give me, a, give me another one of these. Dang. Dang. Um, no koala either. Alright, we just lose. There's no shot we beat this. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Although, after the uh, those tier 3 scalers, there isn't actually a ton. I mean, there is Dragonfly, there is Polar Bear. But I don't think there's any others, really. Like, there's... You could argue there is in the sense of something like... Um, like, oh, Sauropod gives you money, but it's not really, like, it's basically just these two for actual stats. Or uh, something like, oh, same idea, but Hammerhead giving you more money. Kind of want to take the giraffe. I know it's, like, very desperate uh, in terms of me... Um, like, oh, why are you selling these four fives and stuff? You're already losing so bad. If we need to get... If we're trying to actually get all the way to ten, we need... much more <laughs> than what we have to get there. Honestly, I was... I, it, it, where this is clearly not happening. And we never got the Yak Koala type stuff going, unfortunately. The, the Koalas don't want to show up. So... We might just go, like, massive health. Get rid of this jackalope. The reason to... Um, have it up front is just... Because it's... I'd rather the stats, I guess, go to these from the ant than to something else. This camel's gonna be... A bit of an issue. Yeah. Looks like we're just completely getting owned. But here, on the good news, honestly, it's kind of the bad news. Which is that, um... The Olympics are over, man. Freaking Olympics are over, man. That makes me sad. <laughs> the, the Olympics are over. Today was the last day. Closing ceremonies. I didn't catch all the closing ceremonies. No camel, by the way, so this elephant is pretty silly. But, um, I saw the part that was kind of like the showing what happens ahead. Oh my lord. What's happening up ahead for... Oh my god. <laughs> the uh, LA, they do like a preview thing, I guess, showing what's ha coming up ahead for the... 2024, uh, 8 Olympics in LA or whatever. And... It was pretty cool. I'm, like, so over this run. Plenty of terrible decisions anyway, but that also just, like, synergies that don't really do anything either. Okay, if we, like, somehow... I mean, we can't even swallow a walrus or something here. I guess we could swallow a stork. I 
except we can't because we don't have the money for it. It was pretty bad. It's a pretty bad unit. The team, the team is terrible. <laughs> There's nothing going on with this team. Hmm. We tried to get the Jackrabbit. We tried to get Elephant Camel. We didn't really get either of them. I guess these are tier four, so I got to keep that in mind next time. That you do have to wait a little bit, maybe for the Tiger Bug to show up. There's the Camel. Kind of feels like that doesn't matter at all, huh? Kind of feels like that doesn't matter at all, does it? I mean, we can't really do it this turn anyway. I guess I'm, guess I'm doing some shit like this. But man, what an Olympics. An insanely exciting Olympics all around. I'm already getting the, like, post-Olympics depression type situation. So that's, you know, not the greatest news. Hmm, yes, the meat is just gonna kill us, huh? We weren't winning that anyway. Alright, we got one win! That was just, like, the worst possible result besides zero. Going back to the Olympics, what the hell are they feeding our women's relay team? As soon as the baton gets passed, they turn into the Flash. Hey, underwater. That's where I was drowning this round. Am I... Am I right? Uh, okay. I like that noise. I don't really want to do this, but... I suppose. Tiny bushes. That is the question mark, question mark, question mark, tier one units. Alternative name. There really is so much that happened between last, uh, last time I streamed uh, Super Auto Pets and this time that... It's simply not possible to talk about every Olympic event, even though I wrote down notes for so much of it. Um, it just is that, it just was that crazy. I don't really know how else to say it. I guess you do like this. I don't even, I don't even know which one of these I would care to want more. Double Mosquito, but we're just trying to get levels here, I guess. Um, I mean, whether we're talking freaking Cole Hawker winning the 1500, whether we're talking Kenneth Rooks. Okay, so, all right, you know what, let me talk, let me speak a little to this. Because as you probably obviously know by now, if you know by now, we are the, 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 the. I should have done that differently, I could have got a strawberry, that was kind of bad. I will do this. I will combine this. I will buy this to maybe get a cool thing in the future. That's the plan. Um, yaks are good. A lot of people that don't really know about track and field and haven't been following the past year plus. We're all saw a lot of comments. Oh my God, go Hawker out of nowhere! One, it was crazy. Which. Look, he wasn't a favorite, but he was pretty much guaranteed in my top three as far as uh, if you've been following uh, track and the field, you would very likely have him in one of your top choices this year for that event. Now, an early level here is kind of rough, but at the same time, there is good scalers there. But I kind of want to make room for the koala at the same time. We did not really get what I was looking for. I guess I want you to have the health. And then I'm either selling the Dumbo or I'm selling this. I guess we're not doing the Dumbo. The idea of the Dumbo was kind of fun, but I think we probably just do one of these. And then... I'm rolling for koala. I'm rolling for koala. And you gave me double jackalope. Alright, game doesn't like me today. It seems. It seems. Probably should give the, the health to the termite, but... Maybe we do a, a dog... Whatever this thing's called. Run. But anyway, Cole Hawker winning was awesome. For United States. Distance running. No doubt about it. But then... 
the race that people like I don't think are giving as much hype for, but honestly they should because it was just straight up more hype, is Kenneth Rooks in the steeplechase getting silver. Now that's actually an upset. I mean, he didn't win, and people kind of tend to be like, oh, well, didn't, well, they didn't win. It wasn't like actually an upset. But I'm telling you, it was. <laughs> like, he had no business. He had no business with that. With that. That was insane. No business getting that far into... Like, like, I guess one way to describe it to someone would be to say, if you look at Vegas odds, granted, honestly, if you were betting this Olympics and knew about track and field, you could have made some pretty easy money. I did not do so, but... Uh, like, his odds were, you know, who... I can't... I don't even know what the number is, but it is so much... It was so much uh, less than, say, Cole Hawker. Like, Cole Hawker's, again, people that were paying attention to track knew that he was pretty good chance of, of meddling. Not the case with, uh, Kenneth Rooks. That, that shit was crazy. I forget, did I get this with you? No. I think because I did so poorly, I'm not gonna try to actually get an achievement with the termite here. Even though we actually might still be getting rid of this yak, but we'll see. It's a 7-5, so it's pretty darn good for now. The pups giving the camel health did pay off, so that part's nice. Hey, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? Alright, this should be able to... Oh! I was gonna say draw, but I didn't trust myself. <laughs> Turns out, for good reason, apparently. That... Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Something my... I don't know. Visually, that, like, freaked me out for some reason. I'm taking... I'm taking this. This is a good combination. I'm just taking that. That's a... That's a good combo right there. Because it's gonna buff that, and then, yeah. And then this maybe trade with some big unit in the front. Give you this. Next, we give that to this. And we're on we're on the road. Maybe get get another one of these. Oh no, that only works for the night. All right, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. But still, not bad. I mean, there was again, there was so many events that were crazy. Um, the comeback from Quincy Hall in the men's 400, running it down at the end, absolutely beast mode. Um, Tobogo in the 200 plus his splits in the 4x4s, which were insane. The, the men's 4x4 in general was absolutely nuts. Uh, Olympic record, I believe it was. And Botswana would have got the Olympic record. You know, they were like, you know, the point one behind us, so they would have gotten it too. It was definitely an African national record, no doubt about that. Um, so many records in so many events. Obviously, Sydney, M Sydney McLaughlin with the world record, breaking her old world record again. Easy clap. That would have been the easiest bet to make in the Olympics for sure. Uh, like even betting that a world record was gonna be broken, she was just, she's just too good. What I'm, what I'm thinking about here is, I'm. Part of me is thinking that this is just kind of sticking here temporarily for a while to trade with a big unit in front and to potentially get rid of it for one of these nicer tier fours that are showing up now instead. Because since we're not actually giving it stats and we didn't get the koala thing, I'm kind of not as excited about it. Yeah, I mean, health is just good and that does also actually at least work with the yak. So I'm down for that. We're not really doing spawn team. We're kind of anti-spawn team. So I'm fine with this. More health, but I don't think this is a good combo for now. It is going to give the Yak health, which does let it stick around more, and it does just kind of combo together on its own. So maybe it is worth trying to get this thing leveled now if we're keeping it. And they really want me to level it, and I listened at least the second time, so <laughs> there is that at least. There is that at least. 13-8, yeah, that's... 
That's not nothing. One shot of camel is great news. Ouch. Uh oh, no, we're fine. Yes, yes. Shoot, shoot. Great work, team. Um, I think the Kenneth... So, Bakali beating Kenneth Rooks, which I didn't really talk about because I was just so hype about Kenneth, but um, he he just back-to-back -back gold medaled, I believe, that steeplechase, which has not happened since, like, 1930 or something. Just uh, thought I figured I should actually give him some props because, yeah, <laughs> he kind of should get some. Um... You know, there is a bunch of, there is not a bunch, but you have like this and the uh, Dumbo Octopus. You could do some fun rolling stuff. It's not what we're doing. Pardon me's tempted to take the Polar Bear, obviously, just because it's good. I don't know what we would necessarily be doing with it. Uh, you know, trying to get some good tier 5 statted up for a while. We are at high health, so it's something to consider. But I feel like I want to see a unit that I actually want to buff before that happens, instead of getting rid of this. Because just another buff on Blowfish is good. Getting matches with these would actually be nice. I think I'm going to do that. And then, sure. Ignore. Sure. Part of me is thinking, oh, maybe you get rid of the giraffe with, for this next turn or something. You find it hilarious. Quincy Hall got a got grills. Yeah, he actually does that a lot. That's his one of his go-tos. Oh, that's a bigger camel than me. Can we kill through the armor? Yes. Okay, that was what I was worried about the most was killing through the armored uh, fellow there with our blowfish. Okay, I think we kind of have to do a little bit of this. I think you do that first. Oh. Okay. It's a bit of a weird one in the sense that uh, these aren't going to get statted anymore, which is a little obviously awkward, but... We don't have a tier 3, and I've never really actually tried to get a Mammoth bigger, but that would be kind of interesting. He also starts a little bit bigger. I mean, that is something that I probably actively want, What's people doing spawn teams could do this as well instead of Orangutan, though we don't really have spread levels yet, so maybe we ignore that one. Definitely hurting immediate scaling, but we'll see. Poor guy that ate shit on the final lap. The guy that ate shit on the final lap is the world record holder. <laughs> so that was not just some guy. That was a pretty big deal in that race. Shoot the secretary bird, shoot the secretary bird, shoot the secretary bird. Boom. Yeah, that, I mean, the steeplechase had a lot of dramatics, as they say, in the business of... What I, I don't know, I just said that. Um, I mean, if we just leave this camel in a couple of turns, this is a pretty big difference. <laughs> this plus doing this stuff makes some amount of sense. This is tempting. That is definitely tempting. Um, I mean, even non-track sport, there was a lot of amazing things too, of course, but... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a track guy. What, what, okay, let me think of something to shout out. Mm, vol dude, volleyball is hype. I mean, I already knew it was hype, but like, both beach and the indoor. But I was just, you know, I wasn't actually thinking about it. Hmm. A little late for you. Wait, what? You're not even the same thing anymore. Ignore everything I said, maybe, about that okay never mind oh what the heck did i just do oh okay skip <laughs> I, I didn't even try to click that i was trying to click the pet thing all right let's uh try to get, get that figured out Ooh, a snake is pretty good snake's pretty good behind a big blowfish but 
There is also the case of maybe switching this thing at. It's kind of you you want to, you know, buff one thing up and then have another thing kind of behind to start getting backed up. That's pretty tempting now. Especially now that these aren't actually getting statted. There is a case to be made, although the camel is going to be a lot bigger when I bring it in, so there is that. Death touch is also going to be a problem upcoming. Okay, they gave it to the back unit, thank god. <laughs> we were kind of praying on that. Uh, but yeah, volleyball's hype. Uh, a lot of down-to-the-wire matches on that. I mean, I was watching, I was watching everything. I was watching table tennis, I, I checked in on some of the... Uh, the, the climbing, I checked in on all sorts of stuff. I think... Cell, bring in this. For now, definitely. And then... You know, I do think it's probably... It's, uh, it's such an awkward position. I guess you could do this as a backup, because you know either of these. Okay. Probably that. Probably just that, right? And then now... We're probably gonna get rid of that for this after a turn or two. Freeze this because it's decent stats. We're not probably doing that. We can get this on one of these. I know I'm freezing a lot of stuff. I'm freezing everything. <laughs> I'm freezing everything. The men the four by one hundreds. Glory for the women of America. Absolutely tearing it up. But then you know. Maybe not so good for the men who, once again, continued their history of kind of choking. <laughs> In the Olympics, specifically. Uh, but yeah, you know, that happens. I mean, we could really just switch this out too. I know we got a trigger on that, which is a little rough, but we could keep this just to get more health, because health plus death touch is obviously really good. Trade this in the front, then have the walrus behind it. I think that's maybe what I'm gonna do. Or... How do you do this? Yes, for sure. Then either... It's awkward. Because you need to leave something to get polar bear. That's the thing. So it's, do you get rid of this? to then get this and then bring in the walrus early, or do you bring in the camel? I mean, we're at nine out of 10. What, does it matter? Wait, does it matter? Does any of this even matter? That completely like changed my whole thought process. <laughs> that, could, that changed my entire thought process. I just like don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm all in, I guess, which means I'm not even freezing anything here. Hmm, let's see. Oh. Okay. Interesting eucalyptus. Oh, and the death touch goes to the polar bear? Damn, that was not even close. <laughs> Alright, well, I freaking won! And you know what? I, yes, I am still gonna go over some more Olympic stuff in the next one, but I'll talk about other things too, because there's other things to talk about too. But damn. That was a convincing 9-4 after a one-win run, huh? The difference that the RNGs make. And like the Olympics, I'm ending it for the US with some more Ws. 11 out of 25 medals on the track for the USA were gold. Crazy ratio. Alright, I have to pee before I start the next one. And also, let me delete some notes. Delete notes, delete notes, delete notes. Um, and then choking, delete that. Uh, Four by four, I mentioned the Olympic record. Okay, I have to pee. <laughs> I have to pee. 
then we'll do the next one. Okay, I'm back. Are you ready for round two? I'm losing water, I'm low on water. I'm a bit of a warrior though. <sighs> we can back this one up. It's a great kind of intro too. All right, round two chat, ready? Round two, we just had a nice uh, 10 win with four, whatever it was, health at the end. Pretty strong showing. I'm, I'm freezing both of these. Those are both just going to be good. Yeah, I guess you kind of have to do it like that. Excuse me. Um, so... Before I go ranting about certain things, I will say it is still Sunday evening, and what happened today in the world of not sports but esports, at least as far as the things that I gave some amount of attention to, was um, Mango winning Supernova, aka Super Smash Con, as well as. That's supposed to work. That was, that was supposed to work because I did it and then you should refresh the thing. It's a little rude. Alright, well. Anyway. Um, Mango won. Junebug with DK? In Melee in 2024? I almost said 2023. Um, getting third was crazy, obviously. But... Mango took it in the end against Cody, which was sweet. And then the other esports-ish related thing that I paid attention to was... Damn, two three fours right now is pretty sick. I want to do the jump thing, but you, you gotta kind of get lucky with it. Okay, alright, fine, you're making... Well, okay, Yak Koala isn't really a thing. So you don't actually care quite as much. Obviously, we know it can work. But it not wasn't as much of a thing as I thought it was when I actually won with it. Granted, Orangutan, Tropfish, all work well with it. It's kind of hard to deny half of a level, huh? Kind of hard to deny that. I think you gotta unfreeze. Doesn't really do anything for us. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm just I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it. Stork's good obviously, but I'm just keeping things open here to try to then work for levels. The turn after this turn. Double I respect this. I respect that trade. Um but uh what I was going to mention was The Esports World Cup, that's the one, yeah. Street Fighter VI, Zhao Hai taking the win. Pretty sweet. An early level here is good in the sense that the next turn, when we get to the next tier, it'll set its attack up already. Obviously, it's a little bad in the sense of... Uh, 
giving us stuff that we maybe don't care about right now. These are both good. It's kind of, do I want a little more win more with camel or set up potentially more with foo dog on these tier threes? It's a lot of good tier threes. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little tempted by double octo, but gotta take one of these and it's, do I wanna set up for more of these? But I feel like I would take a camel anyway. Like even if I saw more, like even if I bought the whatever bad dog, foo dog, to then buff a camel that I would buy after the fact anyway. I think I'd roll for levels here because we got good chances. What is this song? Trap Gunner. Character select for the PlayStation. Might be Japanese only? I don't know. Two hits with camel is fantastic. And that'll do the damage. That'll be enough. And we have a level to start with, too. It's pretty good. I think we're ahead enough that we don't need the termite. Maybe that's a little bit um, greedy. Deer is okay. It's not that great in the sense of there is some amount of hurt trigger things like it, it can be good and then it could be detrimental you know blowfish camel etc so it's do you want that or not i'm kind of tempted to just gariel get the get the toy out of this uh, i am gonna lose it on the strawberry unless i sell that thing an early melon is interesting i didn't really think about that i think i don't really want it though I think just a guaranteed kill is pretty good. I definitely want the Trop Fish on these two. I was initially thinking I would sell this at, I mean, it's just a strawberry. Do I care about a strawberry? I don't think so. Uh, Yeah, it's kind of awkward, I guess. It's either you're doing it like this, or you're doing it like how I just had it. Either way, the camel's not buffing the yak, but maybe that's just okay. I was gonna buy the the Kado, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be a good garlic. Gonna be a good garlic. Hmm. There's the nice snipe. That turtle with the garlic, a little bit not great. It's a pretty strong team. Do you know who? I don't. I don't. You need to inform me. Okay, I mean, I'll take this. I mean, are we just doing the same thing again? It feels like we're just doing the same thing again. <laughs> I mean, how, how can I not take this? Copy ability of has never. I mean, you could camel into camel. How greedy is it to try to get the pheasant level, I wonder? Now you could do this, and then you're not buffing that, and then that way you're putting this up here instead. Although, if you do this, then it still works, and then that buffs that. Yeah, okay. We're not really spawn teaming. I guess I'm just rolling, huh? I guess I'm just rolling. I don't even think I want the giraffe either, really. Was really hoping to see a pheasant pay off from all that rolling. Greed, for sure. He's a little bit too... Oh, he's actually gonna get two shots, that's crazy. I was gonna say there's no way that this yak is gonna actually get to hit multiple things, but turns out that was a lie. That was a lie. This is the same team as the last <laughs> session that went well, although it's missing an orangutan. That could be arranged. That could be arranged, though. I think the only... Like, I want to do this tiger bug uh, jackalope thing, but I think the only way that it gets there for me is that if I actually get... Like, a level jackalope, like, 
before the tiger bug, and it's just tough to take. Like, basically, I need, like, two to appear in the shop at once, pretty much, for me to take the jackalope on those early turns where I was considering it. This is still good. Yeah, it's too good, and we're just not going to try to level you anymore. It's so unfortunate you can't melon armor the yak, huh? Because then he just gets rid of it. <laughs> this is a little unfortunate. I don't think the money's worth the yak um, getting to level 3. Did I just... He, he gave the health to the Tropfish instead of the Yak, huh? Ooh, spawn team. Mmm. Unfortunate. Not that far off, but certainly not quite there. Alright, well, I'm definitely doing this right now, because the, the amount of stats is great. That's interesting as well. Enemy hurt or pushed. Kind of interested in getting rid of the trap fish now, because it's only level 1, and then just getting this fellow involved, because he's, you know, real big. He might be able to chew through the rest. There's something to say about doing this trade, and then hope that this kills a thing, and then can shoot through that after the words. There's definitely something to be said about that. He almost just kills. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was close. Can he kill through melon armor here? No, especially when the health gets removed, huh? Man, that's a, that's a big guy. It's a big guy. He's got a big garlic. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Hmm, sure. Also sure. There's the pheasant. Bunch of half levels, huh? That's what we're doing? This is definitely a silver gunner. Yeah, it is. What a great what a great remix. I mean, I knew it was Smash Bros. music, but it took me a bit to actually figure out what the remix was with. This is pretty much the same team, huh? Maybe we get rid of this camel then? And just bring in... I mean, the camel has been really good after the... Again, the strategy of the yak taking out a big guy or two in front and then having the camel kind of trade some hits has been very strong. Just with a random guard. Like, the last round in particular, that this camel is a 3-4... 3-7, apologies. And it got insane value. That being said... So this is giving itself 4 damage every turn, and this is giving 6 health maybe like every other turn once it gets lower than everyone else. So it's like, barely growing. What I'm thinking about right now is to either level the Rhino, which is certainly a lot of extra damage. 8 damage? There's not that- there's a lot of small units, I think it's worth. Snake, huh? There's not room for you, I think. I think there's just not room. It's funny, I- I want to buy the polar bear, but I also think we need to keep the orangutan as well. Orangutan, my bad, my bad, my bad. So it would have to be either blowfish or camel that goes. Both of them work really well together. Um... In some sense, you can kind of camel with anything, so there's something to be said about that, too. And then that way you can have it buff the camel in this that's in the shop. Feels a little risky, but at the same time, I think if we're trying to get all the way, I think this is maybe the way to do it. You do this one because... If it buffs itself, it's fine, and then also there's more chance for chocolate here. Slight, or maybe large downgrade this turn, depending on your theory crafting. Okay. That's a lot of polar bears. That's a lot of polar bears. 
I was just shy of actually, I think, maybe going quite a large distance there. Yeah. Not really doing that. I'm not opposed to this, I think. Yeah. Keep this frozen for that. I think we need- I, th I think we need this for a bit. I don't think we could just trade the walrus in. As tempting as that may be. This is fine if it buffs, then who cares? It makes it bigger, that's still good. Could argue melon on this as well. It buffs the camel. <laughs> Hmm, definitely a Spanish looking team, huh? Okay. Don't shoot the rhinoceros and we're good. Oh wait, we're not good. No, we're so close to good. One more attack on that uh that bear, huh? Do that to buff the stats. Do that to just do that. I don't think I'm buying this on a, on one of those though. We got some we got not a ton of health to spare, but we got some health to spare. I will say it has not hit the rhino two times. It has not hit the camel any of these times yet, so camel has not been looking amazing. These last couple. It's, uh, it's a combination of things going on here. There's the melon, but I think I think it's fine. I think we're gonna wait to destroy. I mean he's just huge. No chance. <laughs> I mean this 3 7, 313 camel is still working. To be fair, it is still working. Any of these getting buffed is pretty good. That's why I'm keeping them. The chocolate, certainly I thought about giving to the camel and then leveling it, but I, I don't know. I feel like uh, one buff on the camel would be really helpful. Although now we've reached death touch territory, which is not great. Melon armor to kill and then we lose. It's a pretty strong team you got there. How is that secretary bird so big? That's what I'm wondering. I think I unfreeze this now. I think I definitely take that level, and then I definitely take this level. If we can live a turn, that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> we could live a turn and win and stuff, that would be pretty good. I think, however, we've gotten so late into the rounds that we're getting to that point of people having lots of death touch. Okay, not here. That is a big bear, though. Thankfully, one shot the camel, so that's great. Melon armor gone, but shoot, shoot, and then attack and shoot the whole team. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm still, you know, we were talking about the Olympics last time. Definitely still a little sad about that. The fact that it's over, rather. I guess you could just, you could garlic this. It takes, it will take only one damage now, right? Feels a little awkward, but I think it makes some amount of sense. Yeah, it only takes one now. Probably should have done that way earlier if I had noticed. Because there have definitely been teams where maybe this could... Well, uh, not this time. And it's just barely not going to kill through the armor. That's brutal. Well, we dodged... We dodged the, the death touch, but unfortunately not enough. Maybe there was a turn there to switch this orangutan out for something? But honestly, I don't know what it would have switched for. There was not a ton of... I mean, maybe you just throw a bear in there or something, but it did feel like we needed that orangutan health for quite a while. It's okay. It was a good, good represented, represented. B -b 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 it was, it was a solid team. Okay, that's what I'll say. Because apparently I lost how to speak. 
Man, this thing's a 3-2? Man, I should have considered that a thing. It's a beefy tier 1 unit. Uh, Because usually tier 1s, if they have 3 attack, have like 1 health. I can't think of any others that are 3-2s. A lot of 3-1s, a lot of 2-3s, a lot of 2-2s, etc. I don't need to say every permutation. Dude, you know, skating made me think of the Olympics. The Olympic skating was pretty solid. I think it's just a draw, right? It's just... It's just a draw. It's the same stats and everything. Um, there was for the... I want to say it was Great Britain team. There was a, a skating legend represented. Represented? Uh, which was kind of sweet. He, I, I'm blanking on his name, which my bad, but I'm not the best with names. Uh, but he, <laughs> it was just funny because like all of these Olympian kids, they're like, especially for skating in particular, and especially for the women. I noticed um, a lot of young folk, which is true for like most Olympic things in general, but. Um, for skating in particular, in the woman, it was like, felt like it was always teenagers. Uh, at least in the men's, it was like some mix of teenagers and then like early, mid 20s. But then the random, the not random, but the 50 year old being there part of it was kind of, kind of goofy. All right. People want to see the elephant. This is an opportunity to have the elephant, for sure. It's kind of awkward with that part. Do I care about the 1-1 one, one stat? No, because I'm basically taking it away with that anyway. Hmm, would have had an Alchemides. Alchemimis. This might be crazy. I feel like that gives us a win. And maybe that's good enough. This order is psychotic. I don't know why the magpie is in the middle. Yeah, pretty terrible order. Well... Uh, wait, maybe not. Maybe it's like an insanely good order, in fact. I also think we didn't need the cookie. Because cookie's 2-2, two, two, right? Alright, I am taking this. We can save two gold. Or we can just get rid of this stupid thing. Get this involved. I guess we're going like this. And then save the two gold. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, the skating was pretty interesting. I mean, there was different types. There was the street skate. There was the... Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a pretty good ability you got there. Double eucalyptus, huh? What would they call it? The park skate? I think that was the one with the 50-year-old fella. Huh. Part of me is like, yo, double orangutan. <laughs> Part of me is like, oh, we're just gonna not get the- we're gonna not get the camel now that we're taking an elephant. Wow. That is a lot of that. <laughs> that is a crazy amount of that. Oh, I'm so happy it buffed itself. That was sweet. Oh, that, that is going to be a problem. Yeah, that just did. That just did all of the damage in the world, that, that deer. Tatum showed up for participation in the medal. Maybe a hot take, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm going to be honest, the major sports at the Olympics, kind of a snooze fest. Kind of don't give a single F about it, really. Except for, like... Highlights or the very end. Who cares? I don't want to watch that. I want to watch the, all the cool new, the cool Olympic stuff that, that, except for people that follow every single niche thing. Like, I follow track, so I see the track stuff still, right? Throughout the year. Diamond League, etc., etc. But I'm not, I don't got the time to pay, watch every sport to that degree, right? So, seeing the table tennis, seeing the volleyball, seeing the canoe slalom, the bike racing, the obviously the regular track stuff, the skating, the 
you name it, the the 20k speed walk, right? That's what I want to be watching when the Olympics are going. Track and field is literally one of the biggest ones. You're not listening. You're hearing the words, but you're not listening. You know what I mean? You're not actually listening to what's being said. Is it a major sport in the sense that it is done throughout the world? Yes. Is it a major sport in the sense of basketball, soccer, football, hockey? Uh, did I forget one? I feel like five is the number that I'm usually thinking of. Hockey, football, oh, basketball, baseball, soccer, whatever. Those, you know, those main five, six that you see in the United States. I don't really care to watch that during the Olympics. Now, did I? Yes. <laughs> did I? Yes, I did. But not in the sense of... Um, what am I copying if I even want to copy something? I don't think I want to copy something right now. I think I do this, and then we save to gold. But, you know, I want to be watching... I, I know that JT didn't play any minutes in the first game. I know I still know what happened because you can't really like dodge a lot of that in the US. And cuz like I just know enough to pay attention to that part, but I'm just saying like as far as if when there was like early rounds US except for maybe part of the first round. I wasn't watching basketball or like I would open it or check the score, but then I would be having the other sports on cuz Obviously, that's, like, way more interesting. Now, what I will say is that this uh, camel idea did not pay off again. Seems like whenever I take an elephant, we get no camels. I will say, though, after having seen people get some eucalyptus stuff going on, pretty good. Pretty good. I feel like we need to make some big switches. I think we're taking this deer. I know the team looks real weak right now. And in some respects, it certainly is. But... But... The future... Is bright? Question <laughs> mark? The future has a lot of health on our team. Um, roll once in case we get another orangutan. Okay... Sure. Just for a little more. It's gonna give the health to the parrot instead. At least one of them will. I was also debating selling the mosquito and going double deer. Honestly, could have been a night. I mean, triple deer, really, because we got the we got the parrot. Hmm. And this is why you don't do the double. But we got enough to win because we got all that health. Never mind. We have enough to draw because we got all that health. That's what I was saying the first time, surely. Okay. Level you first, for sure. Use money on this. They're not going to be buffing this, I think, regardless? You give six health to one of these, you'll give two health to one of these. We'll keep this for one more turn, and then next turn we'll do some other things. I'm interested in that, potentially. I could take that now take that now do i feel the need to take that now it's just a 510 but it is 510 i'll take it now and then when i get some rolls out of it i don't want this to eat so don't feed it yet could arguably get the meat bone here but i think i'm okay with rolling a little bit stork is something you could do i imagine you maybe want to get something like a turtle or something in there maybe i'll do all this i'll do all this Um, we got a weightlifting medal in the U.S. We, I feel like we, my understanding, uh, the women have before, I think even in recent times perhaps, but I was uh, speaking in the sense of, for the men, I don't believe they've got a weightlifting medal in a long time, so that was kind of sick. I don't remember the name of the um, person or, okay, well, yeah, just eat that death touch, wait, just in case, I don't want that to get screwed up. 
I think I'm keeping two of this for this turn. Is that crazy? Roll once. I guess I'm not doing this then, huh? Roll once. Eat the death touch. I don't honestly know how that worked with the beluga. I'm gonna have the beluga up front though to then give death touch to something back here. That makes some amount of sense. Should probably get the polar bear involved next turn and then maybe either we could go for we could go for a spawn team bear situation here. For sure. There was a lot of first time medals for countries or certain categories involved with certain countries and stuff, which was cool. Um, like, like, one health. Like Paulino winning the 400 meters for the Dominican Republic. I believe they were saying that was the first medal for the Dominican Republic. I don't know if it was track and field or if it was just ever. Uh, but either way, that's pretty sick. I mean, this kind of works. All right, I'll, uh, we, we got something to do with that at least, so there's something. I don't think I'm feeding this to like do anything. I'm basically just deciding, do I wanna give, give other things to this even though it might be overridden or not? I could just take the level, but we do want something to get buffed, so that's kind of why I was eyeing over here. I guess you? Because it is kind of the biggest unit besides the orangutan itself. Um, it was the the gymnast for the men for, uh, what was it? Um, God, what was it? The Philippines. And the, they got two gold medals. Or, uh, he got two gold medals, which was pretty sick. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Normally for a spawn team, this is pretty good. And this spawn team is kind of awkward, because I honestly don't know. I don't think that works with the Beluga. And then with the Parrot, I doubt that it copies the copied ability. Like, if this is in front, dies, spawns a parrot that was like this parrot, I think it just spawns a copy of the pet, but not a copy of this, like, the skill taken copy, if that makes sense. The copy of the copy of the copy? Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna do that. I want this to get buffed. Snake is certainly good behind some, some spawn units and whatnot, but... Part of me is kind of looking for uh, another walrus to show up, and then yoink that. And get, I mean, this is this is good with money. To be fair, but I think we're probably probably not. At least this. I think we're. Not. I think we're not. I think we're not. I think the polar bear is maybe going to be thrown out. Sound a little harsh. Thrown out. They might be leaving at some point. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a big snake at the backside here, actually. This is not a not nothing. But we got our big got our big fella up there too. Hell yeah. Those chili peppers chipped away, huh? They could do this, and now this is the one that's gonna be doing the buffing. I think I well, I mean, unless we're not taking it. Honestly, a taco is pretty good there. Oh fuck me! I didn't really. Oh fuck you! <laughs> oh, that's so much worse. Oh, that's so much worse. I didn't consider that could happen. <laughs> we need to find another walrus. Okay. We need to find like two walruses, but at least we have one. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I don't think we were beating this one anyway because the camel in the front's just too big. 
But that is funny. Maybe, maybe we could have. Damn, that was funny. Okay. I don't think I can waste the like chance of like we we, we need the walrus. <laughs> we just kind of need that, and then I don't think we've taken these and they don't fuck up. We could take a bear. You could take a bear. Instead of a polar bear. We are gonna get some amount of attacks off. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that. Boom. Immediately a 918. Would really like to get a leveled beluga. Would really help us out. Mmm, that's a lot of triggers for you, huh? I think we... Oh, that mushroom. No, no, we, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay. Whew. Level beluga would be big time. There it is. There is something to be said about, you know, oh, you could do this now. And, you know, oh, but we kind of need the extra spawning. The other reason that it's been good to keep the orangutan is that the health just means we do more attacks, and that's all we care about is more attacks. Um, I think I'm even gonna do this. Now we can't do pizzas. We've, we've learned we cannot really do the pizzas and stuff because of the... Because <laughs> of the beluga. But if we could still win through that, it'd be pretty sweet. Alright, you're gonna take my chili. It's pretty good. You're not gonna take Death Touch, though. I feel like that's a win. Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, alright. So you're saying there's a chance. I think, uh... I would buy armor for the Orangutan. In the form of... A Garlic? I think you gotta take this level though. There's that, but I think we're almost. I think we're not even doing that anymore. I think we're sticking with this. Doing that anymore in terms of the idea was to replace the polar bear with a walrus. Which you could definitely still do. Um, but I never really go bear, so I feel like this is an interesting idea too. Especially now that the beluga's level 2. Hmm. That's, that might be too big of a guy to follow up. <laughs> well, it's gonna kill the snake, but... Just shy. Just shy of a draw there. Now that's an interesting idea. That's an interesting idea, I like that. You'd, you'd rather the garlic, honestly, than a melon. You cannot take the pizza. Remember, you cannot take the pizza. Yeah, there's the garlic. Haven't not seen any other bears or chocolates to try to get that leveled. Now, the only thing that would make me, I guess, maybe a little sad would be if this parrot could be copying this beluga and spilling out a walrus this whole time. That would make me a little bit sad. I got a level 2 bear. Now, I know we didn't get the mushroom because of that, but it's sort of the, the fail-safe is getting the, you know, if this misses, then okay, you do the thing. Probably a lot of rolling for a lot of nothing here, because we cannot risk the taco. I guess I could have froze this, and then if we got a taco and whatnot, but I already, I already moved past it. <laughs> already moved past it. Something to be said about cheesing, just because these things have not been particularly great. But maybe if we draw. There's still so much I could talk about with the Olympics, though. Whether it's the 5k, the 10k, men or women, 
Okay, I do have to bring up one thing, and that is that Safan Hassan ran the 5K, the 10K, and the marathon, and medaled in all three. That is absurd. <laughs> oh, so close to a draw. Because, like, if it, the chili pepper kills through the snake and then peanut versus the polar bear would have been a draw. Damn. If this was the 90s, we would have taken men and women gold in breakdancing. Yeah, I kind of... I almost didn't want to talk about breakdancing because there's that, like couple of clips going around of that Australian lady and then a couple other sports. I was actually watching live when the Australia lady moment happened that everyone on the internet freaked out about. Yeah, that part wasn't the best. But there was plenty of moves in there that were maybe more what someone would normally expect. Like, you know, power moves and stuff. Um... I think it was a one-time event. I don't think it's coming back next time. And my understanding is that the breakdancing community didn't even really want it in the Olympics in the first place. So, whatever. It was... There were plenty of cool clips of stuff that happened. I learned that there's a move called the UFO. I'm not going to attempt to make the camera bigger and attempt it, because I cannot. But it looked cool. Then there was lots of other cool things. You know, the spinning on the head and whatnot by uh there was that uh, one japanese guy that had like a really sick sequence that i i've seen a few times that was sweet but yeah olympics are over so many amazing things happened so many records so many first times so many first times in like 50 plus years this was almost a first time in 50 plus years me winning with a spawn team not quite maybe I don't know, maybe you just need to have another walrus instead of this bear? We just didn't see one for a long time, plus the blunder with the beluga was a bit of a... a uh, I was trying to think of another B, because I just dropped like four B words in a row, and then I dropped the alliteration. But whatever, okay? Pretty decent team. Almost got there. Number of close rounds. A, a leveled up bear would have made a difference there at the end instead of a lot of rolling that didn't do anything, I'm sure. Um, I mean, yeah, it would have, because that snake would have died, I imagine, or, you know, whatever else, just because of all the, the damage, but it is what it is. I don't mind going for another spawn team this week. I do think it'd be cool to pull off the jackalope cricket bug thing or whatever as well, if, if it does actually scale that unit permanently. I don't actually know, but whatever, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Until the next one. Until the next one, we had some good rounds. We had some good rounds there. And it is, as often the case on Sundays, far past the 9 o'clock end time. My throat is destroyed because there's no water here. And I did that whole session without any. An 8, 9 into it. An 8 into a 9 is no, no problemo there. And it was finally... I wish I said this part, that... It was finally a different team than just like camel, orangutan, polar bear. Though you can kind of see that does tend to be a working strategy, huh? All right, Olympics notes deleted. What, I already have other things that I was still going to talk. Oh, I didn't talk about the streams I did this past week. All right, let me write that down for next time. Woodcarved Wednesday we did. Then on Friday, what did we do Friday? What did we do Friday? What the hell did we do Friday? You gotta love a good old fashioned game crashes when you're closing it. It's always a weird one. Not a damn thing. No, we did the MTGA event, which in a sense was not a damn thing because we just lost. <laughs> So I get, I get what you're saying. Did we do that the whole time? And then Chimera Puzzle Island. Chimera Puzzle Island. And then today was just a late start. And to sap. All right, all right. I will uh, pause this music.
play this music. A little bit high energy for the uh, closing statements here, but it is what it is. Uh, tomorrow, Puzzle Dragons, and then a sap session to end as usual. Um, yeah, I feel like there was something else I was going to mention, but... I'm blanking, so I don't know. I guess that's I guess that's basically it. I'll see you then, and uh, make sure to wear sunscreen and the moisturize. Yeah. Deuces. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there's people streaming. I'm not gonna bother to say who to go watch though. Later. <laughs>